boys and girls, it's Professor Salvatore Gal with another Eric Carl book. Remember the very busy spider and the very hungry caterpillar? This one is called The Grouchy Ladybug. Wonder why she's so grouchy. And you know what? You're going to find out in this story that she never says please or thank you. She doesn't want to share. She picks on people and tries to pick fights. And even if they're bigger than her, but I'm telling you, you know, if you have a bad mood and you're feeling grouchy, there's lots of things you can do to make yourself feel better instead of bothering your friends. We talked about that with Bobby, how you can count to 10, you can blow, maybe you can get something to eat. And I think that's her problem. I think she's hangry. She's angry because she's hungry. But let's find out about The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. This is a beautiful brand new book. It's very fun. So it starts out by telling you one thing here, that aphids are very, very tiny, small insects, and they suck the juice from leaves on plants. Then the leaves die, but ladybugs come and they eat those aphids. It's good to have ladybugs. We need ladybugs. This is the grouchy ladybug. It was night and some fireflies <clears throat> danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up and a friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw that there was a leaf with many aphids on it and she decided to have a few aphids for breakfast. But just then a grouchy ladybug flew in also, but from the right, it too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We could share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine. They're all mine, screamed the great grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? Well, if you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. And she looked at the other ladybug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. She looked less sure of herself. Well, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you go pick on someone bigger? I'll do that, screeched the great grouchy ladybug. I'll show you, and it puffed itself up and flew off. She's saying, good morning. He's saying, go away. Hmm. At six o'clock in the morning, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the ladybug. Do you wanna fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough. At seven o'clock, the ladybug met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, do you want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and off she flew. At eight o'clock, she came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, do you want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough. At nine o'clock, it almost flew right into a sparrow. Hey, you, do you want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough. Oh, man. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Do you want to fight? If you insist, stretching his claws open, oh, you're not big enough. At 11 o'clock, the ladybug bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, do you want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail, oh, you, you're not big enough. Now, it was noon, 12 o'clock noon. It spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, do you want to fight? If you insist, said the snake right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Do you want to fight? If you insist, hee hee hee, said the hyena eerily, showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough. Do you see how tiny the ladybug is? She says, you're not big enough. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Do you want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, do you want to fight? If you insist, lowering his horn. 
you're not big enough. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, do you want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big white tusk. Oh, you're not big enough. Oh, man. Now, at five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Do you want to fight? Now, the whale did not answer at all. Oh, you're not big enough anyways. Now, look where this little tiny ladybug is. She's going to keep flying. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the flippers on the whale, Hey, you, do you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. And it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy, whale, or the grouchy ladybug said to the whale spin, Hey, you, do you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it kept flying. And at 6 o'clock, the ladybug said to the whale's tail, Here's the tail. Hey, you, do you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave that grouchy ladybug a great big slap that flew her across the sea and back to the land. At six o'clock, now it's nighttime, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back to where she had started. Oh, look at, she's sweaty, she's so hot. Oh, hi, it's you again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be so hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. You're welcome, said the friendly ladybug. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, thank you, said the leaves. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. And then the fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. Oh, she truly was very grouchy. And I think when you get in a grouchy mood, you got to dance or do something fun to get rid of your grouchiness. This ladybug tried to fight everybody, didn't she? If you stay tuned in a little bit, we'll do this again. And this time we're going to act it out with a flannel graph. So come back and see Professor Sal, the story gal, as we do flannel graph of the grouchy ladybug. Thanks for listening, boys and girls.